So if you thought that Neon was a clown, well, just look at the person that he's in the car with. If you aren't aware, this guy's name is Squeeze or Squeeze Benz, and he is becoming famous for his very erratic and some would say, I guess, skilled driving. By someone, I mean Meek Mill saying he should be on Fast and Furious. Now, the unique thing that people found about Squeeze 1, the driving, that most of it, I can't even put in this video because it'll instantly either be demonetized or even taken down. It's that dangerous. But it's also because he was this secret, like, vigilante Batman type. He would always wear this blacked out helmet and he would ride around just kind of terrorizing traffic or he would quite literally flip off police and then commit felonies in front of them and tell the police, I'm assuming, just had to give up most chases in order to save the public. But he has actually been found and arrested and we will talk more about why that is. But first, let's talk about where it started. So he had invited Neon onto his stream to add to the whole anonymous image and the cool aesthetic. He had his writer boy in the back, you know, kind of talk for him while he was doing his little hand signals and whatnot. Hold on, Squeeze. What's good? Let's go, brother. Just can I just keep one foot? Can I just sit like you're, this? Bro, you're 100% good. Don't worry. Don't. Just don't drive off. I got you. You're good. Right. Don't trip. You're good. Right. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I'm gonna put the, the thing up now so he can see. Well, sure, where my brother. Listen, once again, obviously for everyone's you're good, you're good, you're good. for everyone's safety, Squeeze can't talk, but I'll interpret for him. Okay. All right. How many bodies you got, Squeeze? Mm. Zero. You've never fucked a girl? No, 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 no. Squeeze. Fucks. Don't get me wrong. Squeeze. Fucks. I thought you meant. I thought you meant like bodies, like because he killed anybody. Oh nah. nah. I saw your shit, bro. Like, like, can I talk about whatever? Squeeze, like, bro. For I've sure. never been around like a, like someone like this. Like, you're really like like you're anonymous and like wanted, bro. It's fire. Like, I fuck with it, bro. It's like, more you, like, bro. The adrenaline you feel is better than a nut, bro. It's better than killing someone. It's the best feeling in the world, bro. Yeah, I want to feel that way, bro. Do now, of course, you know. I mean, if there are people that even like Neon or Jack Doherty, they're of course gonna like this mask dude that drives literal supercars around the very busy highways. But he made a mistake by bringing Neon on because Neon's stream, obviously, in 2024 is very popular and during the stream this happened I didn't get dropped off bro anyway anyway he's dropping you off right now you guys are good jump me up jump me up jump me up all right right here jump me up jump me up jump me up jump all right thank you bro thank you thank you thank you bye all right thank you bro I believe that the person behind him that hit him was actually his like friend or a fellow crew member of the squeeze team but nevertheless as soon as this happened and the fact that he drove off that is immediate hit and run so nothing happened on this stream directly he pulled over after this and neon got out and left and it's said that neon was the one that reported this I guess he got a slap on the wrist by kick as a temporary ban for the reckless driving but obviously that's not confirmed there was another th running theory that because squeeze put his shot Shopify link in his Instagram, the New York City Police Department was able to link the Shopify to his personal identity, and that's how he was caught. Also not publicly confirmed by the New York Police. We do actually have a public statement here though saying, Queens, New York man arrested for eluding traffic violations for social media posts. New York Public Safety Director Fritz Driedfraha reports the arrest of Antonio G, 19 of Queens, New York, for eluding incident that occurred on April 11th. 19 years old. Police Chief Miranda and I commend our detectives for for leveraging their sharp technological ingenuity to identify this driver, who mistakenly believed he would get away with jeopardizing public safety in Newark's arts and education district. They kind of just threw little shots there. At approximately 1.16 a.m., police patrolling the area of Broad Street on Market Street observed a black BMW that traveled around their police vehicle at a high rate of speed with no front or back license plates. The driver also made a turn from Market Street onto Broad Street, although no turn signs were posted at the intersection. Police attempted a motor vehicle stop, but the driver disregarded their attempts and continued eluding police, obviously he's running away. Officers did not proceed with the pursuit, but completed an eluding report on the vehicle. I mean, exactly like we talked about, he was trying to run from the cops. They probably couldn't chase him because even though it is 1.16 a.m., there's still probably light traffic to where it's it's danger for the police, squeeze, and especially the public. If I have any squeeze fanboys in here, this is going to make you very upset, but even though he's only 19, I think he should get some very harsh penalties. Of course, using anyone to just make an example can be bad, but I think it's necessary here. I mean, we already see Jack Doherty clones coming up, and yes, there is a big difference from people trying to be like Jack Doherty and be a public nuisance to people quite literally trying to be like Squeeze and driving around like an idiot. But if both not only Kick and YouTube, but also the law, the district court, don't come down hard on this guy, well, who knows what kind of floodgates we're going to open up into. It only takes one mistake 
to permanently change or destroy somebody's life. I do understand that. It just like we were also like it was a lot of people. Twelve o'clock in the morning, you seen in the video, like I stopped, looked around, made sure there was no money, and started doing donuts. And then when I was running the red lights, I'm not gonna lie, I was low key bugging. I low key know how to run red lights. I've been chased by my cops to the point where I could blow the red lights doing 60, 70. No, I'm not gonna get my dude. What is your strategy in getting away from police? Hopping on the highway. These cops, like they're not really built for that. It's a lot of real rookie cops now. A bunch of rookie cops. And these guys do not know how to drive on the highway. That was just a little interview. Shout out to Tommy G for that interview. Tommy G brings up a really good point about, hey, you could literally destroy someone's life permanently. You could end the life of another person. And he's like, well, I get that, but it was late and I looked around. Like, think about all the innocent families that double checked and they crossed the intersection and a drunk driver smoked them and that's it. You know, you permanently remove people from this earth. This is arguably even worse because he's not drunk. He's just doing it for social media clout. So just like that one stupid guy that all these girls tried to, oh, he's innocent. He should be let out because he's so cute. Like, I, first of all, I should make a whole video on that because that cringes me to my core, but it's no different than that. He ruined a family. He killed two people. Whether you think you're being safe with this or not, you need to join, uh, maybe like Meek Mill said, join to be a professional driver for movies, join races, join stunt driving, something, because this is way too ignorant and dangerous. And like I said, if there are any young Squeeze fans in here, no matter what, no matter how cool you think that this is, just imagine if this guy were to be driving in your city and he permanently, very bad badly hurt one of your family members or even killed them. I bet you wouldn't think it's that cool anymore. You crash into somebody, they get paralyzed, they die. Do you think you deserve to go to prison? Yes. Obviously, I wouldn't want to be put into prison for life. If I kill somebody, that's somebody's life. If that's somebody's mother, brother, cousin, whatever the case is. If somebody crashed into my mom and her car and they killed her, I'd want them to go to jail. You know what I mean? Maybe not for life, but just enough to get it in their head, like, you know? What makes taking these risks worth it for you? They're not really risk to me, that's the thing. I don't really see them as risk. I see them as like, you know, me just everyday driving. And I mean, at least for the minimal props that you give, I would give them to squeeze here. Like he does acknowledge that if he was to hit somebody and to do something terrible like this, that he would agree to his own prison sentence. Interestingly, he doesn't see them as risks or whatever. He just says, oh, I'm just driving and I've been driving since I was nine. Like that doesn't make it okay. Cause again, even if you're on your A game, you're driving very great. There could be somebody that, I don't know, sneezes and they go slightly into the wrong lane and you're going 70 miles an hour and boom, that's it, you know? Why do you think this is something that young men gravitate towards? Drone. I'm sure there are a lot of young men that watch your content. What do you think about kids that want to go try and replicate this, copy this? From Sneeze Benz himself, do not come try this. This is something that you can get paralyzed, you could die. I don't drive like this, you shouldn't. Some people in this game take lots of risks and Squeeze is one of those guys, but highly advise Never know. I don't know. He's not at all, at all, at all a good role model at all, but at least he's telling kids from Squeeze Benz himself to not try this. What's the craziest getaway story you have? I'd be the one with the helicopter. I pulled up on the highway patrol in the truck. He was about to pull someone over. So I got behind him. I started playing with him and I was recording. I got away, obviously. A week later, I started getting chased by two, three black chargers. I'm looking up and I see the helicopter above me and I'm like, Oh, no. Nah. It was only like my second ever, ever helicopter chase, so my heart was bumping. I'm not knowing how hard these guys are going to go for me right now. They're going to set a roadblock up, something, you know what I mean? But thank God that wasn't the case. Is it hard for you not to be going fast right now? Honestly, yeah. <laughs> if New York really wanted to step their game up, they should put a place where people can do this and have fun in a safe environment. If you give us a spot, we're going to use it. How long do you see yourself doing this for? This is not going to be a forever thing. Eventually, it's going to turn into a brand. How often do you drive? It's every day but so little. And I mean, you can clearly see as he tells the story about the helicopter and the charger that, oh my God, these young men, of course they're gonna wanna try it. You know, they see this stuff, of course they're gonna wanna do something exciting like this, right? And I don't know, I'm kind of 50-50 about what he says about how New York should make something for people like this. It's true. I mean, people will use it and you know, it would be better than them driving in public traffic. However, one, I don't see how you could ever make something like this safe and not kill people, except if it's like go-karts or something. And two, there will still be people who want that adrenaline rush who these like pre-made tracks are not enough so they're still gonna run from the cops except now since it's a public event there's gonna be more of them and more people that aren't trained maybe as much as squeezes that will cause accidents and kill people and paralyze themselves and whatever anyways huge shout out to the tommy g interview it'll be down in the description that's gonna be all for me today i'm glad this guy got arrested and i'm not gonna lie i hope he gets some pretty severe charges just so we could set a precedent i will see you guys next time please subscribe i'm so close to 4k